What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and we have very interesting news to talk about. But first, let's start off with Joe and Anthony Russo. The Russo brothers confirmed that they are returning to the superhero genre someday soon. They said, and I quote, We will someday for sure do a movie in that genre again, probably in the not too distant future. Now, the Russo brothers did not confirm whether they will direct or produce or write this film. We just know that they're somehow involved with this project. Now, I have a couple of theories on what they will be working on. My first theory is that they will be working on Secret Wars for Marvel Studios. The Russos have said many times that after Avengers Endgame, they are done with the MCU unless Marvel Studios is going to develop a Secret Wars, then they'll want in. So maybe it's Secret Wars, but my number one theory, the one that I think is most likely, is that they are working on the MCU's X-Men. Now to me, there are a couple hints to them working on an X-Men movie. First off, the Russo brothers say that they are going to be working on a superhero movie in the not too distant future. Now this could just be a, you know, the common phrase that's used every day, or it could be a hint to the X-Men because if you remember in the early Fox X-Men movies, those movies would start off showing the subtitle saying in the not too distant future, setting up the timeline. So I think the Russo brothers might be making a little clever reference to the past X-Men movies, somewhat hinting that they're going to be tackling the X-Men. And Joe Russo said himself recently that he'd love to tackle Wolverine and the X-Men, so I think it's a good possibility that they might direct or just be involved with the MCU's X-Men reboot. If there's anybody that was going to direct the MCU's X-Men reboot, I would want it to be Anthony and Joe Russo. They're proven filmmakers. They've made some of the best superhero movies of all time, and I feel like they would pay homage to what's come before in the Fox X-Men movies, but also create something new and different and unique for the MCU's X-Men. And we have breaking news exclusively from Deadline and Breaking and Act. Warner Brothers is officially working on a new Superman reboot. J.J. Abrams and his company Bad Robot, they will be producing this movie. And Ta Nahisi Coates will be writing the script. Coates and Toby Emmerich at Warner Brothers have both confirmed this news, so this reboot is actually happening. Now honestly, this news isn't shocking to me because number one, J.J. Abrams working on a Superman movie was a rumor for the longest time. At one point, J.J. Abrams was supposed to direct a Superman movie, Superman Flyby, but that never happened. It's like J.J. Abrams was destined to work on a Superman movie, and we know that Zack Snyder, you know, he's a very divisive filmmaker. Not everyone loves his Man of Steel. I think it's an underrated masterpiece, but a lot of fans did not like that take on Superman. So it makes sense that Warner Brothers is developing a Superman reboot so that they can give the fans who did not like Man of Steel, they can give them a more traditional classic take on Superman, which, you know, is exciting to me. I love Man of Steel, um, but, you know, I'd also like to see a more happier, upbeat, uh, classic Superman. And the Shadow and Act article that confirmed this news says that casting for Kal-El has not begun yet, implying that Henry Cavill will get recast with someone else. But this is where it gets confusing, because in the Shadow and Act article that broke the exclusive, they say that they're gonna start casting for Kal-El. They just haven't started yet. But Boris Kitt at The Hollywood Reporter says that Warner Brothers is looking to feature a black Superman. And it makes sense because Coates, the writer of this movie, he's a big African-American rights activist and, you know, he'd probably want to bring a black Superman to the screen. Don't race Ben Clark Kent. That's not going to end well. Okay, there's going to be tons of backlash and 
nah, keep him, keep him the way he is in the comics, all right? If you want to do a black Superman, which I'm not opposed to, do Calvin Ellis. Michael B. Jordan wanted to do a Calvin Ellis Superman movie back in 2018, but it never happened. This is the chance to give us a new, different take on Superman, not race-bending Clark Kent, by giving us a new Superman. I think that's a good idea if they want to go the black Superman route. But I'm confused. Do they want Kal-El, or do they want a black Superman uh, Calvin Ellis. Like, we need more clarification on this. So for this reboot, if we're going with the traditional classic Clark Kent, then I think Richard Madden would be a great choice. I think he'd make a great Superman, but he's doing Eternals, so I don't know if he could do Superman. And if we're doing Calvin Ellis, naturally Michael B. Jordan, he was the one campaigning for the role. And him as Superman? Hell yeah, he's a really good actor and I'd love to see him play Calvin Ellis. Now, just because Superman is getting rebooted, that doesn't mean that Henry Cavill is done for good as Superman. We live in a world where we have Ben Affleck's Batman in the DCEU, and then we have Robert Pattinson's Batman in an alternate universe. This could be the case for Superman. We have Henry Cavill in the DCEU, but we have an alternate universe Calvin Ellis, or an alternate universe Clark Kent. I don't think Henry Cavill is done because he's supposed to appear in Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods maybe, Black Adam, Shazam 3. There are rumors that he'll appear later in the DCEU. I don't think he's done yet. This reboot is just something on the side. No director is attached to this movie. I'd love to see Matthew Vaughn. He'd be awesome. James Gunn, he'd be cool. He was offered Superman before he took Suicide Squad, so maybe it's him. Or J.J. Abrams. He's a really good visual director, and I think he'd make a good Superman movie. So whatever the hell this movie is, I'm definitely interested in it. Um, I'm warming up to the idea of Calvin Ellis because... It's like Spider-Man. We've gotten him so many times. You know, Peter Parker, we got Miles Morales. It was new, it was fresh, and everyone liked it. This could be the same case with Calvin Ellis. He could be likable. He can be relatable. Don't do anything pandering. Don't race Ben Clark Kent. Don't do it. Just write a good character and story. So we'll see what's going on. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts down below. What do you think of all of this Superman news? That will be all for me. And remember my catchphrase, guys, stay super wise.